right, beautiful people, we're gonna come to the back of your mat finding a nice warm up for our session today. So take your hands down beside you. Nice big roll of those shoulder blades out, opening up, send it all the way back, good. Let's go two more like this. We're gonna be coming into a nice full body session today. So opening it up as you inhale, reach those hands nice and high, shift that gaze all the way up to the sky. And then as you exhale, coming all the way down to the ground. Let's take a nice halfway lift up as we gaze forward and then send it all the way back down. Good. Inhale, halfway, lifting up and then exhale, send it back down. Last one, inhale, little lift up. You're gonna take your right hand underneath your face, bend right into that right knee. Left hand comes up to the sky. Twist and rotate through the upper back for three, for two, and then on one, let's swap it all the way over to the other side. Reach it up nice and high. Hold for three, hold for two, and then on one, let's send it back down. I want you to walk all the way out to your high plank, shifting that gaze to the top of your mat. We're gonna drop the knees down, step your hands back, finding that tabletop position. Lowering that belly down, lift that heart, gaze all the way up. As you press into the hands, chin tucks under, we roll it nice and high. Just give me two here as you lower the belly down, shift that gaze, and then exhale, pull it all the way back, good. Last one, lower that belly down, and send it all the way back. From this position, tuck your toes. We're just gonna step right foot outside, right hand, lunge it down, step it back, left foot, left hand, and then step it back one more on each side before we jump in, good. All right, make your way up to standing, my friends, all the way. I want you to come to the top of your mat. We've got 40 seconds on. We're gonna take that right leg back today. Twist over the left side, all the way in, swapping sides down, little twist and bring it back, good. Find that twist, find that motion as we sink and open. Finding a little relaxation through the jaw as you find that breath, good. Eyes all the way through, we've got 10 seconds here. Keep that movement, then I want you to pick up those dumbbells. Good, all the way through. Last one, twist it through and come back through center. Good, nice quick changeovers today. Take those dumbbells, bicep curl to overhead press. So I want you to glue those elbows in. Bring it in, drive it up, down, Curl, good, up and drive. Depending what direction you want, you can bring your palms up, rotate, and then take it overhead, good. Focusing that breath, pull those shoulders away from the ears, all the way up, all the way back. Nice work, good. When we're standing here, I want you to focus. Make sure you're getting that full movement before you move into the next, good. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, we're gonna take those dumbbells down to the ground. And as we lower all the way, you're gonna crunch up for me, extend one leg, lower back down, lift, swap the feet. Extend, crunch down, up, back, and swap the feet. Good. Nice work. All the way through. Good, finding that little crunch motion. Beautiful work. Just a little bit of coordination going on here. Last three. Good, stay with me. Last one for me. And stand your way up. We're gonna be moving into our squat pulse. Feet hip width distance apart. Roll those shoulder blades back. Come down, little pulse, and then drive straight back up. Get that little bounce and then all the way. Sinking down, drive it nice and high. You've got this. All the way up, grid. Focus that breath. Keep it nice and controlled. Little bounce, drive it up, grid. We're so close. Now with that pulse, make sure you're getting that full motion and then drive it up. Pressing back into the sit bones. Final few here. Grid all the way. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're straight back to the top. 
We're coming back into our step back lunge. Right leg goes back first, over to the side, and we step forward. In, side, and back. Good. Nice work, team. All the way through. Keeping that control. Good. In and then back. I want you to find a little smile on your face and make it enjoyable. We can do this all the way. So we have four sets. We're moving through each set two times through and then we don't return back to it. Great. So all of these exercises are our last round through on this one. Pick up those dumbbells straight into our bicep curls. Glue those elbows in. Let's go up, turn, overhead, back, and overhead. Good, using that breath. Find control. Nice work. All the way through. Nice, using that breath. Can you isolate those biceps as you draw it down, back up, overhead, good. Nice, pulling those shoulder blades back all the way through. Give me one more, overhead, and take a little breather. Drop those dumbbells down. We are coming to lay on our back. As you crunch up, let's extend the right leg up, back down, and then swap over. Up, back down, and swap over. Good, all the way. Can you focus on imprinting that lower back down to the ground? Nice. You got this. All the way through, you can do it. I want you to come all the way back up to that squat pulse for me. Nice. Last little bit. And one, yes, all right. Up we go, squat pulse. Feet here with distance apart. Roll those shoulder blades back for me, team. Let's sink down and then drive all the way up. All the way down, drive all the way up. You've got this. Nice and controlled. Now do not cheat yourself here. Can you get that depth through the squat? Sink those bums back and then drive it high. All the way. Nice work. You got this. Keep it controlled for me. Nice and slow. We've got 10 seconds. How many reps can you get in? Let's go all the way to the end. Last little bit. I reckon you get one more. Let's go sink it down and drive it up. Great. All right, team. We have got a different round here. We're coming straight down into our tabletop position. Leading with the right leg. Glute raise up. Extend that leg. Bring it up. Tap it back down. Drive up. Extend. In. And then tap back down. Now, what I want you to focus on here, square those hips, notice how it wants to roll out as you bring that leg up. All the way, good, we're staying on the same leg until we come to the next little buzzer. Good. Focusing that breath, all the way, give me two more, up, tap it down, just one, kidding. We're over to the left side. In two, and one, let's go drive up. Out, in, tap. Out, in, and tap. You've got this. Now as you fatigue, notice as you wanna rock over to the side, can you keep it controlled? All the way through, great. Nice, side to side. You can do this. Let's go. Beautiful. We don't have too much longer here. Extend, open, back down. Last little bit. And one, good. Roll it over onto your back team. Grab a hold of those dumbbells. We're coming into a chest fly. So I want you to lay it down, imprint that lower back, drive it out to the side. Whew, that sun is bright. <laughs> All the way down, all the way back. We're gonna be a little blind for this one. Now, if you're feeling like this is too easy, your option is to grab a heavier dumbbell or hover those knees into a tabletop 
imprint that lower back down and really control through the core as you drive that weight out. Good. Give me two more. And one. All right. Plant your feet where they are. Just drop those dumbbells down. You're going to rise up. Take your hands behind your head. We're coming from one side to the other, finding our oblique crunch all the way from side to side. Now, I have got some fiery sunburn happening. So this feels real good right now. Let's go. Take it all the way over to the side. Nice. Keep that control through the core. Maybe you want to go a little further and tap your fingers towards your pinky toe if you can. I stay with me all the way. Good. Let's go right the way to the end and then we are coming straight back to that tabletop. Roll it over. We are repeating those glute raises. Let's go. All the way. Right leg. Drive it up. Extend hamstring curl in and then tap it down. Nice work. Shifting that gaze to the top of the mat. Finding a little focus. Finding a little presence through the body. Nice work. Out and in. We can do this. Beautiful, all the way. Reset those hips if you need to. Last one for me, out, in, back, down. We're gonna swap straight over to the other side. Hands plant down, reset those hips for me. Gazing forward, let's go all the way up. Extend, in, tap it down, drive. Out, in, use that breath. Good. Such tiny little movements, but feel the effect through the glute, through the hamstring. If you're at home and you want a little extra, you always have that option to add a booty band for something like this, or you can even chuck a dumbbell in the back of your knee if you want, play a balancing act. Let's go, last 10 seconds. All right, one more. And we're gonna roll it over the opposite direction this time so we can see. Lay it down for your chest fly. So as you bring it down, once again, either feet planted to the earth as you drive those arms out, or you can hover those knees to tabletop. Take them a little further away. Good. Finding that control. I like to imagine this chest flight as you bring your arms back, you're trying to hug around a tree trunk. We want to keep those arms nice and strong. Little bend as you scoop it all the way in. Beautiful work. Last couple for hear me. Good. Last little bit. Last one. And drop those dumbbells. All right. Straight to your crunches, curl it up, and you're gonna take it over to the side, over to the side. If you need to reset in between, that is your option, otherwise coming from one side to the other. Once again, if you want that extra, you're gonna reach it all the way over to the side. Good. Nice work, team. All the way through. Reaching it nice and long. Stay with me. And take a little breather. Okay, you're gonna stay on your back here. All the way. We're gonna take our reverse tabletop. So knees are there. Roll it up. We're just extending that right knee to the chest and then taking it long. We're isolating with the one side this time. Expand and then open. If it is too much having that head lifted, you can lay it down onto the ground. Isolate through the bottom of the abdominal area. Good, expand all the way back. We don't have too much longer, then we're gonna swap over to the left side. Three, two, you fit one more in, open, bring it back, go. All right, take a little quick tap down, reset that head, let's go. Opposite side, left leg extends. Whew, that's a nice and deep movement. Let's go all the way down, all the way back. 
Now we've decided we're giving off vintage Broncos vibes in our outfits today. All the way back. Good. Nice, keeping it controlled. Beautiful, extending long. And then all the way back. I stay with me. Last little bit, let's go three, two, and one. Okay, come up to kneeling. Grab a hold of your dumbbells for me. If you've got small dumbbells like us, glue them together. If you have one heavier one, hold it lengthways. You're coming around one direction, poise, and then all the way back the opposite. Let's go all the way around, all the way around. Let's go. Keeping that control. You got this. Staying with me. Use that breath. Now be mindful that you're not hula hooping the hips to get around. We wanna isolate through the upper body. And one, okay. Stand your way up, please. Take your feet hip width distance apart. Shoulder blades back, we're coming into our RDL. So our deadlift, rolling down mid shin, drive it all the way back up. I want you to imagine you're trying to tap a button with your bum as you push it all the way back lengthen through those hamstrings and then drive it up. Now one thing that I tend to do is try to lift my toes. You wanna to drive those toes down to the ground, feel that activation through the whole back line of the body. Nice work. You've got this, keep that control. And one more, drive it up. Take a little rest, pop those dumbbells down. Come straight back onto your back for our reverse tabletop. We've got those knee to chest extensions. Let's go. Drive it up all the way through. Beautiful work. Curl it up, expanding long, and then drive it in. Good. Nice, can you use your breath here? Find that extension. Notice if that left knee is starting to creep closer towards the chest, can you bring it back to that tabletop position? All right, got two and one. Take a quick reset, drop that head. Two, one, drive it up, tabletop. Let's go left side, expand. Expand, good. Nice work. Finding a little control in your body. You got this. It's spicy. Let's go all the way. Keep that control. Keep imprinting that back down. We can do this. Last little bit. Stay with me. Do not go anywhere. Two and one. Okay. Up to your knees. Grab a hold of those dumbbells. Knees hip width distance apart. Glue them together. Let's take it around and back the other way. Back the other way. Nice work. All the way through. Good. Keep that control for me all the way through as we drive from one side to the other. Last little bit. And one. Okay, up to your feet. This is your last one of your RDL, so I want you to make it count. If you've got lighter weights, you may like to add a little pulse at the bottom to get a bit extra. Otherwise, just keep that control pushing back and then drive forward. One thing that I find is really common here with our RDLs, you start to round. We wanna keep that back nice and flat, strong, lengthening through those hamstrings the whole way through, all the way down, all the way back up. You got it. I stay with that control for me, all the way down. You got three, two, 
and one. Guess what guys, we are at set four, our final set. You're coming into a lateral lunge to a squat. Step it in, so we're gonna squat down, come up over to one side. Bring it in, squat down, up over to the other side. Good, down, over, down, and over. Nice, keep that control all the way. Lowering down, back. Use that breath. Now when we add in a few extra movements into one, I want you to be mindful getting that full range before you come into that next movement. Last one, and take a rest. We're gonna bent over row. So taking your hands under grip, lean it over, push your bum back, weight into the bum and into the back, squeeze it in. All the way. Sorry, we're alternating. One <laughs> at a time, all the way through. Can you emphasize that feeling in the shoulder blades? Pull it all the way back. Nice work. Squeeze, 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 you got it. Stay with me. Switch that core on. Find a little smile on your face, you can do this. Three, two, and one. Sit it down to the ground. We've got our Russian twist with an overhead press. I want you to take your weights into your chest. We're gonna come one, two, center, overhead press for two. Let's go, one, two, back, up. Up, good, one, two, up, up, nice. All the way. You can do this, keep that control through that core. If you want a little extra, hover those legs. I cannot do that. Let's go all the way. All right, we're coming into a sumo squat in three, in two, and one. Make your way up. Sumo squat to front raise. Feet are gonna be wide, dumbbells are out in front of you. Sumo squat down, and then drive all the way up. Down as we drive up those arms come nice and high. We should be mindful that the arms are not coming overhead. Just drive them in line with your shoulder. All right, so much fun. Great, sink it down. Make sure you're getting that depth in that sumo squat. If your knees are bowing in, you need to bring your feet a little bit closer. If you're feeling too cramped and you're not feeling inner thighs, take them a little bit wider. Last one. And we're straight back at the top. Squat and lateral lunge. Take it in. Let's go squat down, step to the side. Squat down to the side. Good. All the way. Nice work. Down, back, up. You got it. Down, back, up. You got this. Ooh, keep that control all the way through. I am so proud of you. We are so close. Take it all the way to the end for me. Last little bit. And one. How fun. All right. Lean it over. Turn your re re gr reverse grip. I can't even speak now. Underhand grip as we lean it in and just taking alternating as you one at a time. Good. Nice. Keep that control all the way through. Gaze is forward. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice, you can do this. And up we go. Russian twist to shoulder press. So we're coming down once again. Zip that belly on. All right, we go one, two, back through center, up, up, grid, over, over, up, up, nice. You can do this. Up, up, grid. All the 
away. Keep it controlled. Nice. One, two, up, up. Can we get one more in all the way? Up, up. Yes, guys, let's go all the way up towards your feet. Sumo squat, all the way to that front raise. Sink it down, drive it up. As your body fatigues on this final exercise, can you pull the sit bones back, shoulder blades back, make sure that core is on nice and strong. All the way down, driving up, great. We've got this, you can do it. Stay with me, nice. Ah, a little bit, stay with me, all the way through. And whew, have fun. Take a little breather, guys. Grab a hold of your drink if you need it. We're gonna come down to seated. We're gonna take a little stretch. I want you to bring your feet down, knees up to the sky, and let's take a nice little rock from side to side. You should be so proud of yourself. We made it all the way through. Good. Now as we come through our stretch, taking some time to slow that heart rate down. Good, all the way back. Just pause on whatever side you're on, gaze to the other side. Press those knees down, get right into those hips. Good, and then let's take it over to the other side. Getting right into those hips, gazing over to the other side. Beautiful. All right, as we bring it back, you're gonna extend one leg long. Take one knee in nice and tight, open it up, twist behind you, reach that left hand high, gaze all the way back. Nice, taking a nice big breath in, long breath out. Last breath in, big breath out. Let's take it all the way back through center. We're gonna swap sides, bring it in, take the other hand, reach it up, twist it around. Can you slow your heart rate down? Can you bring to mind one thing that you are proud of from your workout today? Allow a little bit of integration time, checking in how the movements are out in your body. As you come back through center, extend both of the legs along. Take a nice big reach up. We're gonna come down to our forward fold. If your hands are here, that's fine. If your hands are here, that's fine. If you can grab a hold of your feet, that's great. Dropping your head down. You may like to take a little flow, inhale halfway, lift up, and then as you exhale, folding all the way down. Good, let's take one more like this, inhale, little lift, exhale, lower back down, and then you can slowly walk your way all the way up to seated. Good work today, guys, you did amazing. Hope you enjoyed us for workout 161 today. We'll see you back tomorrow.